Like I was saying earlier, I think there's a sound or maybe like a ethos of 2000s like punk and and pop punk that is just fun. And so I, I mean any any of the bands that we grew up on, like I'm sure there's a lot of influence, you know, conscious or not, and and what we do. We're not coming into this like unashamedly not coming into this trying to blaze a path and make something new you know what i mean like it's not not that everything is derivative but like there's a sound and like i said kind of an ethos that i have in mind that i want to play because i I love it and i have fun doing that you know what i mean Uh so as far as the influence piece goes i'm sure there's a lot but i think mainly that's what i would call it back to well, and I think to that point, though, well, I just I just like I mean, you guys don't come out and like do a bunch of covers and whatever. You were like, I got some songs in my head. Let's write some songs. And so you just put out some songs. I like that part a lot. I'm playing the kind of music I actually listen to on a daily basis. And so I want to listen to our music, which might be pretentious. It's like wearing your own band T-shirt, you know, <laughs> but like like I just like listening to it, you know, and finding like, oh, how can I? make the next one even better that I want to listen to that one more than these four, you know, we're at a kind of a weird place in that it is just the two of us really right now. Um, where we're kind of doing a format thing where it's like these two guys recorded the CP and now we got to find people that can play it live. The other side too is like the landscape is totally different than it was 15 years ago when I was recording albums with yeah, my, my other bands, you know, we were like, all right, we got to, go record this. We we're going to do a CD release show back when people bought CDs. You know, we, I probably still have a hundred <laughs> CDs from old bands just chilling in the closet somewhere. And now it's like, nobody's going to buy a CD. So where do we point those efforts? Well, we're going to do a single and an EP rather than a full length record because most people these days, they use Spotify or Apple music and they're only listening to the one song they like or a handful of songs. So we figure, all right, we'll start this way and then we'll drop a couple singles as we go. And, you know, hope we, hopefully we can try to build some traction that way. Like, I don't want to say slowly, but I mean, I, I don't know that we're like in a, a rush. 10 years ago when, when I was playing in bands, like there were two or three venues. There was the basement, there was um, Mojo's, there was Y Sound up in Logan. Like there were a few and probably others. Um, that had, you know, shows like three a week, you know, like all ages shows and touring bands would come through and local shows and stuff too. But in Utah, like Salt Lake really is where, where we'd be able to, I don't, I don't think our, our music is the, the kind that's going to be fun to a bar crowd. Yeah. You know what I mean? We can't not. go to Brewski's and play uh-huh. Johnny baseball. <laughs> so wait, why not? I don't think, the, <laughs> I don't think the people there would, uh, they wouldn't be there to listen to it. I don't know. I, anytime I've been to Brewski's and there's generally there's a band playing. I'm not there for the band. A couple of my buddies um, who actually uh, Brandon goes by Cleese for his DJ name helped. He and and um, uh, James who goes by Earthworm, the rapper like they do. Yeah. You know, they they play bars I mean all over like going little tours and they they bring crowds, you know, because it's yeah. hip hop like that's yeah. in, in in Ogden like people look forward to it they know it there's a scene for that up here and so it works really well i would love to have another all ages venue Mm. here in utah again for metal shows and hardcore shows and pop punk shows and whatever you know but as of right now there's not much up here that i am connected to or know of you know stay tuned yeah yeah, EP coming out by the end of the year. Keep an eye out for Don't Talk About It, Be About It. Coming out here in a few months. Follow us on Instagram, Johnny Baseball Punk.